In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to reveal text from behind an object, and we're gonna add some motion blur to that text as it moves in. Both of these techniques are pretty easy to do, and they work really nicely together. And if you wanna learn how to add a gradient to your text, like in the word Toronto here, then check out last week's tutorial on how to do just that. I'll link it in the description below. Let's hop into Premiere and check this out. So first, we'll work with adding some motion blur to our text to give it more of a natural feel as it moves in and reveals from behind our object. Let's pop up to the effects panel and type in transform. In the distort folder, drag transform onto your text layer, go to effect controls, and we'll start off with our playhead at the beginning of the text layer. Using the right arrow key, move 15 frames inward. Over these 15 frames, our text will be revealing on screen. Now you don't have to choose 15 frames, I just tend to start with a 15 frame duration, and then I adjust it if need be. Under transform, let's select the position's toggle animation to set a keyframe. Okay, that's set there. Now let's hit the up arrow on our keyboard to bring our playhead to the beginning of the text layer and drag the X axis position number to the left until the word's positioned to the left of our object. Under transform, let's uncheck use composition shutter angle and change shutter angle from zero to 180. Nice, okay, and you can already see here on the still frame that we've got that motion blur look. Let's play this to see it in action. Okay, that's looking good. Just gonna adjust this slider to zoom into the keyframe path here to get a closer look. Okay, and I want the text to reveal in a little bit more smoothly. So let's select the second keyframe because this holds the final position of the text. Right click, choose temporal interpolation, and let's choose ease in so that our text does just that. It eases in. Awesome, let's check this out. Okay, so that's looking really good with the motion blur. Now we're gonna create that text reveal look. To do that, on the timeline, I'll select my clip, hold down Alter Option on my keyboard, and drag up above my text and let go so that I have a duplicate of my clip above the text. And just to make sure we don't accidentally adjust the wrong clip, let's lock the original on the V1 track. Select our duplicate, and in Effect Controls under Opacity, let's select the Pen Tool to create a mask. Gonna change the view of the program monitor from fit to 200%, so we're nice and zoomed in. And now we can start drawing points around the object our text will reveal from. And I'm doing this pretty quickly for the sake of keeping this tutorial quick, but know that the more detail and attention you pay to perfecting your mask, the better this effect will look. All right, now that I've got those more detailed curves out of the way, I'm gonna go back to fit view and continue drawing my mask around just the area that I know the text would otherwise show through. Okay, and now that I've connected the beginning and end part of this mask, let's turn off the original clip track so you can see what the mask's looking like. Okay, great, so with this mask over top of our text layer, it's gonna create that reveal look that we're going for. Turn the original clip back on, and let's check this out. Awesome, that's looking really good. There you go, that's how to quickly and easily reveal text from behind an object with some motion blur in Premiere. If you're a filmmaker, check out our over 100 plus other how-to videos and gear reviews. Subscribe for the latest from us and we'll see you in another video.